So as far as the setup goes, we hit a snag with the drivers working with the Apple. You know, this L12 needs a SD card. And I thought, oh, well, it's just really a feature that, you know, hey, will come in handy if someone wants to record onto an SD card as well as, you know, use the interface. But I'm starting to think that you need the SD card for an update. And then eventually, if I download the drivers, it should work together. I don't know 100%, but I'm going to troubleshoot and get it all straightened out so that the computer will you know, for whatever I use, recognize the zoom as the interface I want to use for the microphone to go through and eventually plug in more um, microphones if need be or someone else is jamming and put my um, guitar into. But right now it's, you know, it's funny. I feel like I'm encased in here because I still have my old laptop right there. I'm going to actually turn into a monitor probably that should be my goal next weekend until the or this weekend I should say until the SD card comes in for this and I can kind of troubleshoot what's going on uh, this microphone works and I'll probably keep it around but I don't know what I'll really use it for maybe just with the laptop sometimes if I'm mobile it'll be a good option to have with me really thinking of getting a new keyboard I opened this up I think I've talked about it before and the B is corroded I looked to see if I could buy a new one and maybe I could take it somewhere but this thing is 14 years old uh, 16 years old I got it in 2004 I believe maybe even 2003 when I was working at Best Buy I got it at a discount but you know I feel like there's other ones out here that I could, you know, use and update. I still have the old interface. I bought this. This is, uh, and it, you know, a mic amplifier for more for vocals. This is water. You don't need to know about that. But um, this one still works. And maybe I can use it as, you know, I'll have to see what I would use this for. It was a good one. I mean, if anyone wants like a cheap you know, decent interface. This used to two microphones. I mean, I could easily use this in the meantime. I just really, you know, you have more control when it comes to using the mixer over there than just this interface. So that's why I want to go to that one. But I think uh, this weekend is really going to be about um, moving a lot of the information off of this computer so I can just make it a second monitor and I should probably do that sometime today. Also, um, I think I'm really going to start recording the, um, basically that thing I've, I've been playing recently, uh, or at least arranging how I, cause I've, I've kind of had some ideas on how I want to do things. I've, ri I've written some heavier ripped riffs with, um, you know, my, uh, electric guitar. So I think I can start kind of blending everything and, uh, I probably want to get even heavier, but, um, to go from like something, uh, very melodic and almost peaceful to heavy is really what I am all about. <laughs> and I feel like if I can get it like the most peaceful to the, to the most heavy, that will be my, uh, you know, my goal. And then I was thinking, well, we'll talk about that later. Well, I'll worry about that later. Uh, there'll be more to this video, but this is just a quick go uh, what's going on this weekend for this part. There will be a second part. We're going to try this again. So this is take God knows what, but this is me finally using the new setup get everything to work a lot of kinks in the road um the monitor situation didn't work out how i wanted it my mac was too old to be turned into a monitor I was doing that for recycling purposes but at the end of the day that's just how it was meant to be so that's okay 
we'll find other uses for it and I can always buy a second monitor if need be but with the new setup you know I got the zoom to work it did take the SD card updated it and then all of a sudden everything started to be red it was a miracle I feel like I'm like so slowly sinking I don't know what's happening here if it's the chair if it's me I'm shrinking maybe who knows but uh it's all working that's what we're using the one I'm using right now um, got this new microphone um, hopefully it works a lot better than the other one I I see it kind of being quiet sometimes um, and a couple of the other ones really didn't come through that clear but the whole purpose of it is obviously to have the uh, mic work with the guitar it, it seems to be my voice comes out of one channel because it's mono so my voice comes out of one channel the guitar comes out another so they're not interfering with each other but the levels seem to be you know interacting really dark and barely see the strings I might have to work something out get some kind of light that shines down here the other way it's really bright I'm actually surprised how bright it is when it's like this I thought it would be pretty dark because the light right above me is off but there's a light behind me and there's a light over there where you don't see um, and the TV's on but it's been really bright I'm really um, impressed with how bright this looks not so impressed with how this looks but um it's all work in progress you know now that the the new look is kind of working there's a lot of kinks that i'm gonna have to work out um working with the mixer it's going to be you know to get the best like right now this is fine but you know if i'm playing guitar and, and maybe just guitar if i'm using this you know i might want to find a way to play stereo and not you know, when it comes to recording, I think it's better to do mono because you have a guitar out of one side, a guitar out of another, especially if you're doing two. Um, and that's kind of what I do with the DI that I use when I record real songs. But I'm trying, that's what I'm trying to get away from. So that's why this is all happening as well. But um, it's a good start. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long. So hopefully everything works out well and you know I'll take you out <laughs>